Howdy folks, and today we're having a second look at the Hawk Optics balance plate. And uh, unlike the first video, I'm showing you how to use it in practice, and I've already got it fitted in between this tripod and this spotting scope. And you could also use this for camera lenses, uh, if you have a larger camera lens, and in which case, this section here, you could turn around and have it on the on this opposite side to help balance in case it's front heavy. But this is showing a spotting scope that I'm about to make back heavy. And so it's got a, a standard eyepiece in at the moment. I've, I've got this slackened off as, as, as slack as it will go and it's perfectly happy sitting there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this eyepiece out and put in a larger eyepiece. And we just wait and there you see it's back heavy straight away so all you do is slacken the adapter off there the balance plate and move you can move it forwards and backwards quite easily tighten it up and let go and there you see hopefully it's not going to move and so that is with the balance plate in the forward position so if you had a camera lens on which would make it more front heavy you would simply attach the tripod plate with this turned around and so you could then if it's front heavy move your camera and lens back and it will balance and, and stay perfectly in place and yes it's, it's um, doing as it's told and it's staying there while we do this video and that, that means that you don't have to have this tightened up as much when moving it around and you'll find it much more easy to use in practice so that and um, one thing I should mention that this is quite a wide tripod, tripod plate I've got on this tripod and so some tri tripod uh, heads that they do have quite narrower plates and that will give you a bit more movement but even though this one is quite a wide tripod plate there is still quite a bit of movement there so that's that's a quick look at the Hawk Optics balance plate ideal as in this case if you use a spotting scope with a heavier eyepiece or maybe you're sticking a, a DSLR camera on it or if you're using a camera with a longer lens turn this around put it on the back and so you can move your camera backwards to help, help keep it nicely balanced so it's ideal for tripods and uh, bird hide clamps uh, as well if, if you like um, looking at nature so I hope that helps thank you very much for watching and please check out the links in the description below